You know what I'm thinking? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hal, it's been so long since you've had sex, you're wondering if they've changed it? <laughs> no. Although now that's what I'm thinking. Your tailor is a very bad man. Frankie, what are you talking about? Hey, what's going on? Joey's tailor <laughs> took advantage of me. <laughs> what? No way. I've been going to the guy for 12 years. Hey. Oh, come on. He said he was going to do my inseam, then he ran his hand up my leg, and then there was definite... What? Cupping. <laughs> That's how they do pants. First they go up one side, they move it over, then they go up the other side, they move it back, and then they do the rear. <laughs> what? Ross, will you tell him? Isn't that how a tailor measures pants? Yes, yes, it is. In prison? <laughs> What's the matter with you? What? <laughs> That's not... Oh, my God. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> me a box of juice. <laughs> well, he switched me over to ombre. Well, maybe it's because of the way you're dressed. <laughs> Or maybe it's because this guy's doing so good, they want to put more people on it. You should see this guy, Chandler. He goes through like two bottles a day now. <laughs> what do you care? You're an actor. This is your day job. This isn't supposed to mean anything to you. I know, but I was the best. You know? I liked being the best. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should just get out of the game. They need guys up in housewares to serve cheese. All right, say you do that. You know, sooner or later, somebody's gonna come along that slices a better cheddar. <laughs> and then where are you gonna run? Yeah, I guess you're right. You're damn right I'm right. I say you show this guy what you're made of. I say you stand your ground. I say you show him that you are the baddest hombre west of the lingerie. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. All right. Now go see Miss Kitty and she'll fix you up with a nice hooker. <laughs> whip it out, whip it out. Yeah, yeah. To see it's just a tiny bump it's totally useless oh as, as opposed to your other multifunctional nipples i can't believe you you told me it was a nubbin <laughs> joey what do you think a nubbin was i don't know you see something you hear a word i thought that's what it was <laughs> let me see it again joey was in a porno movie <laughs> If I'm going down, I'm taking everybody with me. Oh, darn it, we're all out of milk. Hey, Chandler, would you fill me up here? <laughs> oh, I see, I see, because of the third nipple thing. <laughs> uh, Julie? Yeah. Sorry, you had a paleontologist on your face. <laughs> But uh, it's gone now. You're all right. Hi, everyone. Shh. Okay, here I come. Here I come. See, I'm coming to fix the copier. I can't get to the copier. I'm thinking, what do I do? What do I do? So I just watch him have sex. <laughs> and then I say, wait, here's my line. You know, that's bad for the paper tray. <laughs> when Bob doesn't show up, she will seek comfort in the open arms of the wry stranger at the next table. Oh, my God. You are pure evil. <laughs> okay, pure evil. Horny and alone. <laughs> I've done this. <laughs> Can I, uh, see something?
Oh, hey, Mon. Hey, Rach, want to hear the new song I'm thinking of singing this afternoon? I wrote it this morning in the shower. Okay. <clears throat> I'm in the shower and I'm writing a song. Stop me if you've heard it. My skin is soapy and my hair is wet. And Tegrin spelled backward is Nergit. Please tell me you know which one is our baby. Well, well that one has ducks on his t-shirt and this one has clowns. And Ben was definitely wearing ducks. Or clowns. Oh! Oh, wait! That one's definitely Ben. Remember, he had that cute little mole by his mouth. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, Ben, remember us? Okay, the mole came off. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, uh, we'll flip for it. Ducks or clowns? Oh, we're going to flip for the baby? You got a better idea? All right, call it in here. <laughs> Heads. Heads it is. Yes. <sighs> we have to assign heads to something. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Uh, ducks is heads because ducks have heads. What kind of scary-ass clowns came to your birthday? <laughs> Let's do it. What? Nothing. Just never seen your little stretchy pants before. And we're changing. Come on, give me five more. Yeah. Five more. Yeah. Five more and I'll flash you. Whoa. <laughs> Two and a half. Okay, just show me one of them. Rach, I got a message from you. <laughs> Who's Michael? Oh my god. Oh my god, Ross, no, hang up the phone. Give me the phone, Ross. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. You're over me? Oh, God. What? You're, uh... Oh, God. You're, you're over me? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. When... Oh, when were you... under me? This is a song, um, about a love triangle between three people that I made up. <laughs> um, it's called, um... Two of them kissed last night. <laughs> there was a girl, we'll call her Betty, and a guy, let's call him Neil. Now, I can't stress this point too strongly, this story isn't real. <laughs> now on Neil must decide who will be the girl cast aside will betty be the one who he loves truly or will it be the one who will call luli <laughs> he must decide he must decide even though i made him up he must decide this is a picture of my dad now uh, thieves that's the guy that comes in the frame no it isn't this is my dad all right i'll show you baby i thought your dad was in prison no no that's my stepdad my real dad's the one that ran out on us before I was born. How have you never been on Oprah? You know, I remember my father, all dressed up in the red suit, the big black boots and the patent leather belt, sneaking around downstairs. He didn't want anybody to see him, but he'd be drunk, so he'd stumble, crash into something, and wake everybody up. Oh, that doesn't sound like a very Merry Christmas. Who said anything about Christmas? She's dating? She's dating? Yes, yes, but did you see who she was dating? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you not see it? See what? I don't know what she sees in, in that goober. <laughs> and, it, and it takes him what? Like, like, I don't know, uh, uh, hello, a week to get out a sentence? <laughs> yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> 
decide between lamb or duck? Well, of course, lambs are scarier. Otherwise, the movie would have been called Silence of the Ducks. <laughs> All right, people, we're in trouble here. We've only got 12 hours and 36 minutes left. Move, move, move! Monica, I feel like you should have German subtitles. <laughs> Joey, speed it up! Uh, I'm sorry, it's the pigs. They're reluctant to get in the blankets. <laughs> I thought you had this all planned out. Do you want me to cry? Is that what you want? Do you want to see me cry? <laughs> sir, no, sir! Remember when sometimes he'd borrow your hat and, and when you got it back, there'd be little monkey raisins in it? <laughs> yeah, well, sure, when he did it, it was funny. When I did it to my boss's hat, <laughs> all of a sudden I had this big attitude problem. <laughs> hey, what do you want to do for dinner? Well, we could just stay in and cook for ourselves. <laughs> yes, hitting her with a frying pan is a good idea. We might want to have a backup plan, though, just in case she is in a cartoon. <laughs> we'll just leave, and when we pass her on the stairs, she won't know it's me because we never met. That's how radio stars escape stalkers. <laughs> Do you see what's going on here? This man is dying. Uh, Cut. Can't you see what's going on here? This man is dying. Uh, Cut. Uh, Can't you see what's going on here? This man is dying. Uh, mommy. Uh, Can you see what's going on? This man is dead. Oh, no, no, that's the beauty part. It goes with everything. <laughs> you put this on. You're good to go. Huh. Oh, man. You are so wearing that bracelet. <laughs> I so am. Oh, you have any idea what this will do for your sex life? Well, it'll probably slow it down at first, but once I get used to the extra weight, I'll be back on track. <laughs> hey, man. Look, it's my best bud. How you doing? Wow, you are really getting good at that Marcel Marceau thing. Hey, listen, what do you say uh, we play some ball, you and me, huh? What do you say? Okay, that's my bed. How come you have two? Well, this one's for you. Hello. <laughs> no, I can't. Who is this? Oh, um, that was my bathing suit from high school. I, I was a little bigger then. Oh, I thought that's what they used to cover Connecticut when it rained. <laughs> What is with your nose? They had to reduce it because of, of my deviated septum. Okay, I was wrong. That's what they used to cover Connecticut. It's <laughs> Over here, Dad. Wait, how do you zoom out? There she is. <laughs> Some girl ate Monica. <laughs> Shut up. The camera adds 10 pounds. Uh, so how many cameras are actually on you? <laughs> oh, you look so great. Oh, you beautiful. Oh, oh, what? Shoot, I think I got mayonnaise on you. Oh, well, that's okay. It's just the shoulder. It's not my dress. Everybody smile. Oh, man, turn it off. It is off. <laughs> Looking good, Mr. Cartel. You should take Rachel to the prom. Doubtful. Jack, give me that. Talk to your son. Okay. Right, okay, okay, okay. This thing's heavy. Your mother's right. Take her. You could wear my tux. Dad, she wouldn't want to go with me. Of course she would. You're a college man. I don't know. Well, come on. Don't you want to find out? I'm good. I can't believe I don't get to go to my own prom. Is it so harsh? Okay. 
Oh my boy. Adam boy. Adam boy. Okay, you guys, you know, I think we've seen enough. Let's turn no, it no, 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 Okay, fine. Well, I'm not gonna watch, all right? Come on, kid. Let's go. Hi. Are you handsome? Let's show him. Wait, just a sec, Dad. Actually, be cool. Just be cool. Okay, Dad. Rachel, ready or not, here comes your knight in shining. Oh, no. Bye, Super Dad! Rachel! <laughs> oh, dear. Jack, how do I turn this off? Press the button. Which one? Which button, Jack? The button, the button. I can't believe you did that. Yeah, well. extra cheese on both but listen don't ring the buzzer for 19 ring 20 Geller Green they'll let you in okay if you buzz our door there's no tip for you okay thanks pizza's on the way I told you we wouldn't have to get up what if we have to pee I'll cancel the sodas. <laughs> oh, my God. Billions of years ago, I can't believe you guys are actually getting tattoos. <laughs> Excuse me? You guys are getting tattoos? Yes, but you cannot tell Ross because I want to surprise him. Wow, this is wild. What are you going to get? Um, I'm getting a lily. <laughs> For my mom, because her name is Lily. <laughs> Wow, that's lucky. What if her name was Big Ugly Splotch? <laughs> hey. 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 Well, hell, look at you. Finally got that time machine working, huh? Seriously, you like it? This guy was selling them on 8th Avenue, and I looked at him and I thought, you know what I don't have? A mirror? Every time Ross comes over, he paid a lot of money for it. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold him a different way. Look, I don't understand. If you hated it so much, why did you buy it in the first place? Well, I had a whole ceramic zoo thing going over there, but now without the other ones, it just looks tacky. So is he half strange or is he gonna leave little bathroom tiles all over the place? <laughs> stay. <laughs> uh, stay. Good fake dog. Are you guys eating? Because uh, Richard and I just finished and we've got leftovers. Chicken and potatoes. What am I wearing? <laughs> Actually, nothing but rubber gloves. You know, one of these times you're going to really be naked and we're not going to come over. All right, I've got a leg, three breasts, and a wing. Well, how do you find clothes that fit? <laughs> hey, would you, uh, would you hold them for a sec? Because i, I got to take this off. Oh, yeah. There we go. Sure. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, I'm holding Ben. Yeah, well, he's a baby, not a bomb. It's a 50s theme restaurant. And I have to cook in a costume and dance on the counter. I mean, I was a sous chef at Cafe des Artistes. I mean, how could I take a job where I have to make something called Laverne and Curly Fries? So don't do it. How can I not do it? I have $127 in the bank. Monica, relax. Go get a beer. I don't want a beer. Who said it was for you? Hey, I made $17 before breakfast. What have you done? Well, uh, I had breakfast here, so technically I saved three fifty. So what? So what if we get beaten up? Maybe that's just something every man has to go through once in his life. You know, like a, like a rite of passage or something. Well, couldn't we just lose our virginities again? 
you know, because I think actually mine's growing back. So, uh, how's everything in the uh, vascular surgery game? It's not a game, Ross. A woman died on my table today. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, that's the good thing about my job. All the dinosaurs on my table are already dead. <laughs> Then I don't know what it is. What's the problem? Joey, you know, maybe you're just not used to kissing men. You know, maybe you just tensed up a little bit. Maybe that's what you need to work on. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Over my dead body. <laughs> and I'll be using his dead body as a shield. God, it is so nice for once not to get all hung up on where's this going. Afraid to ask him? Could not be more terrified. <laughs> well, I think you should seriously consider the marriage thing. Give Rachel another chance to dress up like Princess Bubble Yarn. <laughs> hey! I'm sorry, we don't have your sheep. 